So let's talk about how to darn point shoes. A lot of people had been asking me how to do that, so I thought maybe it's best to just show it here. Um, so first, what are the materials we need? Of course, we need point shoes. start but okay just so you know there's a lot of um, ways how to do how to darn your point shoes and of course I'm just gonna show you how I do mine let's begin now that we have our point shoes we grab our pen and we will draw a circle at the tip of your points where you want to put the darning Since the goal of this is to have a bigger base, then I will put it exactly at the edges of the points, as you can see. So I usually sometimes use my finger to identify where the edges are, because sometimes the point shoes are not even. There you go. On to the next step. We will get a thread for the base. I usually use thicker thread for this. So you'll have a bigger base. And what I do is, I wrap this around the mark. Not too tight though. You can give a little space. Yeah, like that. Because it gets tighter later. Okay, so I usually do one, two, of the base so it's really thick okay now that we've done all the preparations let's start darning but first i'm gonna put my rubber fingers because this will make my life easier and faster why because i will be avoiding blisters and to push through the needle through the point shoes it's easier because my fingers will not slip so okay now let's grab our point shoes and we will start here on this corner okay so i'm gonna grab my needle and my thread so i'll put it through here there okay just through the marker Keep pulling until you leave a little tail of the thread. Just one single thread. And then, remember our three-layered thread. We're gonna put that here on top of the marker. And we hold the tail here. So this is a bit complicated, so really focus and watch for the details. Now I'm gonna hold this with my two fingers. So this thread is like hanging there. Okay, now I'm gonna go through again. See how hard it is? Thanks to my rubber fingers. Go through and grab this, this one, this thread here. And do double circle. One, two, and then you pull it. And as you can see, you're making a knot. Now we can continue darning. So, with these three layers of thread, we twirl it. So it gets really together and solid. And you just 
put it on top of your marker. And you go darning. So do the same thing again. Go through the point shoes. So you went through it, remember? And now, you pull this one. The one with the needle. So, one, two. And put it on this side. And you pull it again. Now you're making another knot. And we do it again. The thread that is connected to your needle, grab it. One, two, place it on this side. Pull it. We made third knot. And you just continue doing that around this. Towards the end of the darning, we made a lot of knots there. That's the darning. And then, as you can see, we have extra thread here. So what I usually do, it's either, if you want, you can cut this part. This side. And then you connect this one here. You connect this one here. Or, what I do, I just overlap. So, it's gonna be a bit messy, but it's okay. So, we continue that end part. Again, go through it. This two threads connected to your needle. One, two. Place it on this side. And you pull it. Pull. Pull. And then one last knot to finish it. Go through it again. One, two. And pull it. I usually like stretch this up so it will not get tangled. There you go. We finished it. One whole round of darning. Now, to finish it off, I usually put X. I usually cross, like do X. To stabilize everything so what I do is as you can see there's like looks like boxes there box 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 okay so what I do is this one I go through the uh, the next box beside it there so I pull. So that's gonna create a I don't know if you see it, but a diagonal thread. You'll see it later. I'll show you more. And then after that, you go back to the box before that. It's gonna be more obvious later. Just do that around 
all the way around to secure the darning. Got it? towards the end so remember the square next to it and then we go back to previews and then what we do with the excess we just keep it here and we include it in our excess there you go and previews there you go! So actually, this X thing, you, you can choose. You don't really need to do this. I just like doing it because it secures my darning. Like as you can see, it's really solid. It's not wobbly. And it gives extra base, I guess. So, that's my darning. So now we got remove my rubber fingers first because I don't need this now. Let's grab the scissors and cut what we need to cut. So this is extra thread. Let's cut this. And yeah, we cut. That's it guys! So guys, we've done the darning. Hooray! Now the test to know if you did a very good darning is Oh my gosh, stop!